Hello, my name is Dr. Vinayak Hingne and I am a physician. Today I am going to show you how to assess an individual's risk of developing heart attack or stroke. Yes, we all of us know that heart attack and stroke are basically the problem of our blood vessel. So it is a disease of blood vessel where our blood vessels get stiff, they develop plaques inside them and there is a chance that there could be a clot inside them. So once uh, we develop a clot inside a blood vessels, the blood flow stops. So if this thing happens in your heart blood vessel, you will develop a heart attack. If it happens inside the blood vessel of your brain, then you can develop a stroke. So can we calculate someone's risk, whether he is likely to develop a heart attack or stroke or not? Yes, that is possible. And how do we do that? Let's have a look. So uh, you will have to type QRISK3 in your internet browser and you will uh, be directed to a page. So once uh, we are on this page, uh, QRISK3 calculator, uh, you have to uh, basically put your age, then your gender, uh, your sex, uh, whether you, uh, and then uh, your ethnicity. So there are different ethnicities. Uh, so obviously uh, we choose Indian uh, for Indian person. And then we have to uh, enter smoking status. So if consider this person is a light smoker, uh, if, whether that person has a diabetes, uh, what kind of diabetes he has. So this person has type 2 diabetes. Uh, if someone in your family, uh, like close relative, your father, mother, your sibling has a uh, first degree relative, has a heart attack less than age of 60, then that is a significant family history. So consider this person doesn't have that kind of problem. He doesn't have any kidney disease. He doesn't have any irregular heart uh, beat, but he has heart uh, blood pressure. So we we'll, we tick uh, uh, this box. He consider uh, him to have migraine as well. So he has migraine, and uh, we tick that box as well. He does not have rheumatoid arthritis. He does not have any other uh, disease like systemic uh, lupus erythematosus. He does not have any mental illness. So we keep these boxes unticked, and. Uh, we have to uh, put on his uh, cholesterol to HDL ratio. If you check your cholesterol level, you will find this value in, in that report. So consider it to be 6. Uh, his blood pressure is, uh, consider his blood pressure to be 166, systolic blood pressure, which is a higher blood pressure value in our blood pressure reading. Then uh, if we put on, uh, so consider this, uh, individual to be 167 centimeter uh, in height and let's see if his weight is like 80 uh, kilograms and then we just take this uh, calculate risk option and let's have a look so this person has a risk of 57.9 percent so around 58 uh, percent risk of developing stroke or heart attack in next 10 years. In other words, uh, in a crowd of 100 people, 60, 60 people are likely to, 58, uh, 58 people are likely to develop stroke uh, who have similar risk. So basically it is a very high risk of developing heart attack or stroke. And if you go down, they show in relation to a normal person. So a normal person of the same age, ethnicity and gender will have a uh, risk of 11%. But this person has a risk of 60%, nearly 60%. So it is like five times higher risk of developing heart attack or stroke compared to a normal individual. So five-fold risk increase is a very high risk. So we can basically give this person some medication to reduce his risk of developing heart attack or stroke as well as this person can undergo lifestyle changes. So he can uh, develop habits of eating healthier diet, 
sleeping better and re exercising regularly that will help him to lose uh, uh, to reduce the risk as well as reduce some we uh, weight as well so consider this person undergoes lifestyle changes and he reduces his weight from 80 to say, example for example 70 if he reduces his cholesterol values and his uh, ratio goes down to 3.5 uh, let's see his blood pressure is also tightly controlled and it goes to 130 then consider uh, him reducing his smoking or like quitting smoking and he becomes ex-smoker so if he changes only these things in his lifestyle and then we calculate his risk again so it becomes uh 26 percent so his risk is nearly halved and you can see that his relative risk has gone down from 5 to 2.4 so it's it's basically a uh good thing and also it shows your heart healthy heart age so if, if you would have noticed that he, he has got a higher heart age initially now his heart age uh, heart age has dropped to 74 so his actual age is 60 but his heart age is 74 so uh, this is a very good uh, calculator where you can actually check how much risk uh, you have of developing a heart disease or a stroke and uh, this can help us to get uh, get some medica medical help as well as to change our lifestyle hope uh, i hope this has helped you thank you